Hello guys, today's video is about the PTR patch point part 2 for the 2.12 that's now on the PTR. There is some new changes guys, some new changes, so let's have a look. Uh, PTR only changes. Um, the minimum range on the fixed and roll on ancient items has been increased. This is just for PTR, so that's pretty cool. Uh, wizard, fire dot, prevented dot damage, build up towards the infinite fire dot. So there's a big fix there for, for firebird set on the PTR. Quite to the fiber dot. Okay, cool. Adventure mode. The gold in EXP rewards completed in a Rift of Trials has been significantly reduced. On PTR at the moment, you complete one, uh, one Rift of Trials and you gain like millions and millions and millions and billions of gold. So that's been changed. Okay, achievements. Uh, conquest boss mode. It's good no longer required for its conquest. Okay, so let's just change that. It's good no longer conquest. That's just that shit. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, treasure goblins. Uh, special treasure goblin packs will now spawn with a mixture of random special goblins and regular goblins. I think what Blizzard is trying to say here is uh, when you get a goblin rift, when you get a goblin rift, it would now have just have random um, random goblins. So rather than have, or say, I don't know, all bloodshard thieves or whatever, and there'll be a mixture of all the little fellas. So that's not too bad. I, I, I don't know, actually. I, I would have quite liked it how it was, if I'm honest. Just a big pack of bloodshard guys or something, but that's just me. Oh, well, that's not too bad, then. Mmm. That's absolutely delicious. Lovely. Okay, lovely jubbly. Right, let's keep going. Um, general. The monster kills X experience effects is now multiplied by game difficulty. This is ne this needed to change like a year ago. <laughs> okay, so this is good. It, it's still not a, a stat I would like on my gear. But basically now, instead of giving like an extra 150 50 experience per mob, it's now multiplied by game difficulty. Not sure how much by, but that's cool. Change to healing. Pet and follower life has been increased. Okay, pet life, fair enough. Follower? Followers are indestructible thanks to that laundry item, so I'm not sure why that's there. Unless people use the uh, the other token that gives you all skills, but more pet on life, more pet life. I welcome that, most certainly. Lovely. Okay, uh, barbarian, active skills, furious charge. Uh, that's what it does at the moment. Rushing forward and knocking back and dealing 6% weapon damage to enemies along your path. That's what it does at the moment. It's been redesigned. Now grants Furious Charge two charges. Pretty fucking cool, man. So that, with that new set, that should be pretty sweet. Okay, change the wizard. Alright, Hydra was nerfed to fuck in the uh, PTR. Like, really badly. It, it made, they made it attack very, very fast. But, um, the damage went right down. Like, you can see, it was 105%. So uh, instead of 105, they're, they're evening it out, so it's now 165%, 205 for this rune here, and so on and so forth. You can see, you know, they're rounding it up a little bit. Because of the massive uh, attack speed buff to it, it's, uh, it's quite still going to be very nice at that level. Especially a uh, Frost Rider. Frost Rider was pretty sweet. And this one here as well. Lovely. Okay, so it's too bad. Remember guys, all this is subject to change because this is just a test server. Holy shit, man! Items! The rarity of the rarest legendary items in the game has been reduced. They've not said how much. Holy fuck, guys. So, uh, people who play Diablo a bit more casually now have, uh, have a chance to actually find some good gear. <laughs> actually, some good gear. So, uh, for instance, yeah, it took me five months. It took me five months of 12 hours a day for five months, man, to find my first Star Metal Kukri. Now, this, this change had to go in because of Ancient Legendaries. Ancient Legendaries are basically the new tier of Legendaries that roll up to 30% more increased stats. So it goes up um, an extra 30% like main set, like strength, intelligence, blah, 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 damage, healing goes up and all that. So that had to change because imagine how long it would take uh, for us to farm, say, a Star Metal or a Furnace or whatever, yeah? With a Legendary Fix, with, uh, sorry, the ancient, the ancient Fix on it on top as well. It would take you years. Literally, it would take you years. And you're extremely lucky. So, this is good. They're not tell you how much buy. I would have liked a, a percentage here, but um, I think I'll be going on the PTR today and uh, testing that out, definitely. Cool. That's cool, man. That's good. But much better for the casual players. Personally, I don't mind the, the, the big grind, but when a grind can take five months plus in the current patch, then that's a good change. That is a good change. Okay, ancient mojos, orbs, and shields, and roll with increased damage. Oh, they listen to me. Nice. They listen to me in the player base. Sweet. Okay, uh, ancient mojos and orbs and shields roll with increased damage or shield block values. Excellent. Because at the moment, uh, on the last start part of the PTR, ancient mojos didn't. They just rolled max of 450. So uh, now roll with increased damage. I'll have to go on uh, the PTR and try to farm up a mojo and uh, see, make sure it's the correct value. Excellent. Band of Untold Secrets no longer drops. What? Really? 
Oh, so saying that though, a band of untold secrets can roll sick. It can actually roll really fucking well. And they're removing it. Why are they removing it? Why don't you just tweak it a little bit rather than just taking it off the loot table? Oh well. It seems a bit strange. Very strange. Oh well. Uh, Shard of Hate! Holy shit, have they made Shard of Hate good now? Because, you know, they, they put a lot of work with this, with the community. And, uh, you know what I mean? Does Cold Skills trigger Freezing Skull? Poison Nova triggers fucking Poison Nova. Uh, Lightning Skills trigger Charge Bolt. It's quite a nice weapon. It looks amazing as well. There was a lot of effort gone into this weapon. Hopefully it's good now. Legendary power is no longer affected by proc coefficients. Oh, okay, so what? It just works when you attack now, and can now proc more frequently. Okay, I, I, it's nice that it now procs more frequently, but the main problem with this weapon is there's so many other weapons out there that are way, way better. Furnace, Star Metal Kukri, all that sort of stuff. Like, as a Witch Doctor player, this weapon is complete garbage. The Poison Nova is a uh, melee range. As a witch doctor, you don't want to be in melee range. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Freezing skull. Yeah, we can use it as a witch doctor, but there's no viable coal build in the game. <laughs> so, you know, shot of hate will still be put on the shelf for me personally, but at least they're trying to make it a little bit better. It's kind of a shame though, because it looks amazing. Oh well. Class of figure items, Barbarian, the legacy of Rare Core. Okay, what have they done here? Two set bonus. First enemy hit by Furious Charge will take a 100% additional damage. Okay. So that's pretty fucking cool. Because at the moment it gives you 500 vitality and strength. The force of bonus. Furious Charge gains the effect of every room. At the moment it gives you 500 strength. So okay, it's pretty cool. And the uh, five set bonus. Um, on the on the live one, it's uh, you gain the effect of every rune. So they'll move that over to fourth set bonus. The fifth set bonus, enemies hit by Furious Charge can take 3,000% weapon damage over 3 seconds. Holy shit. Uh, no, this dot cannot crit, and your critical hit chance and critical damage will be calculated into its damage. This is how um, Jade Harvester build works. It calculates your critical hit damage and uh, crit chance, and rounds it up to make it into a dot. So basically, it's pretty much just Jade on that last set. That's interesting. That's pretty cool, man. Looks like Barbarians will be smashing it up. I'm not sure how well that's going to... Um, Work on great Rift Guardians. It's going to take forever to kill Rift Guardians, wouldn't it? On that set. I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. Okay, uh, Monk. Uh, uh, Monkey King's Garb. I think they changed the fourth set bonus. Fourth set bonus. At the moment, it is set for Indian 75 Spirit. Uh, causes a decode spawn that taunts nearby enemies and explodes for 3.5k weapon damage. Holy, right, that's pretty cool. But it's now changed. Uh, when your decode explodes, you gain a buff that increases the damage of Cyclone Strike, Exploding Palm, Lashing Tower Kick, Tempest Rush. And wave of light by 500% for three seconds. Right, that's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. Back in the days, exploding palms are gonna go off like fucking crazy with this change, especially with that new uh, bracer, that gungo gear. Ooh. Oh, that's lovely, lovely. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sunquite Shrines is the amulet, I believe. Yeah, there is the amulet. Always rolls with attack speed. Uh, now rolls with a guaranteed empty socket rather than attack speed. That's good. That's quite a cool change, man. That is pretty sweet. So, uh, that's going to make that amulet much, much easier to actually roll now. Oh shit, a witch doctor change. I forget, I might faint here. What's going on, man? What's going on? Uh, Carnival, bug fixes. Poison darts cast by fetishes should now properly benefit from your plus poison dart damage. Holy shit! Does it mean Carnival can actually be viable now? He can normally caps out about, what, 35, 36 Carnival at the moment in Greater Rifts? So, you can actually benefit from your poison dart dart damage. So how would we do that? We'd have to do a 30-30 FA poison dart uh, build. Interesting, man. That's interesting, because I do like the Carnival build, but it just didn't have the DPS to really fucking punch it. That's pretty fucking cool, guys. You can actually use their poison. With it. So basically, yeah, you can have, what, 23 fetishes with an extra 30% poison damage. That's a lot of damage, especially in group play. That's an interesting change, guys. I'm quite excited by this. So where can we have poison dart damage? We can have it on or Mojo, Pants, and Belt. You wouldn't really want it on a belt, because you have to give up one of the stats. It's like if I'd say, yeah, you're a witcher now, you'll probably have to give up your vitality roll, for instance. So it might be better off doing a 30-30, so put it on your pants and mojo, then have fetch army damage on your shoulders and chest plate. That would probably be the best bet. Very interesting change there, man. A small change, but that can uh, that extra 30% poison damage there would be very, very good on, on a witch doctor man on the carnival. I like that change, that's pretty cool. New seasonal legendary items. What? They put gems. They put the gems in the fucking seasons, really? Well, not everyone wants to play seasons, man. I will be playing seasons, obviously, but 
Not everyone wants to play season. They've moved the new seasonal gems into season. Now, eh? Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure about that, but uh, oh well. Anyway, so look, the gem of these uh, monster kills grants. Um, it's been nerfed down from 1,000 experience to 500 experience now. It upgrades every rank by 50 pips, 50 experience. But remember now, guys, that change above us, it, that's now multiplied by game difficulty. So overall, it will be a buff. Otherwise, this this um, this gem here would probably be performing too well. A new legendary ring, the Halo of Arc Lysi, I think that says. A uh, new legendary ring. Uh, your ice armor now provides 50 to 60% melee damage reduction and automatically casts Frost Nova whenever you take 10% of your life in damage. Wow, that's a fucking nice ring for the Wizzies, guys. 50 to 60% melee damage reduction. That is well good. And when you take 10% of your life in damage, boom, it freezes everything around you. That's really nice. I quite like that, man. That's like a nice little ring. Okay, uh, bug fix. Uh, fix an issue that prevented the damage bonus from Bane of the Trapped uh, from increasing the damage dealt by clones created by the Monkey King's Guard. Okay, that's a little uh, fix there. Oh, pylons. What are they not to pylons, man? Uh, pylons are now less likely to spawn next to each other. Okay, uh, conduit pylon, uh, pylon nerf. Here we go. Now deals damage based on your your player's weapon damage. So it's not based now on the rift level, basically. So um, it's now based off your weapon damage, guys. Now attacks a limited number of targets. So at the moment, Conduit Pilot just blows everything up on the screen pretty much. That's why it's so awesome. But it now attacks a limited number of targets. So it doesn't say how many targets. We're going to have to test this. Uh, we'll now attack the same target less frequently. So this won't be basically the thing you hunt for to kill a bloody Rift Guardian in record times anymore. So I can understand what they've done there, actually. You know what I mean? But um, we now attack the same target less frequently. All right, fair enough, man. Fair enough. Speed Pilot. Let's have a look. Uh, duration has been increased from 30 seconds to a minute. Cool. That will help in the, the rift runs. Now knocks enemies up into the air and deals damage to them. Cool. Now breaks waller for the full duration. Very nice. And now breaks destroyable object, i.e. doors and barriers. So basically, once you get speed pilot, you just go run around like an absolute lunatic. And uh, the last uh, the last little thing we've got here is the uh, the blacksmith. Uh, salvage all will no longer salvage items that are currently transmogrified or have gems socketed. What about enchanted items? You know what I mean? You'll have an enchanted diamond and go boom and it blows that shit up in your backpack. So there you go guys, man. Um, there's some interesting changes here. The treasure goblin packs will now be loads of different goblins. One of the biggest changes though, of course, is that, dro that drop rate. The rarity of the uh, the rarest legendary items in the game has been reduced, man. So again, Furnace, Star Mail Kukri, you know, one of the woes and all that sort of shit will now be much, much easier. For, for um, a general player, this is a good change, but it, this had to change. With the ancient gear coming into the game, the ancient legendaries coming into the game, this had to put in, man. Like I said earlier, it took me five months to get my first SMK, which is crazy long. Crazy long. So with the ancient mojo, ancient sorry, uh, gear coming in, sorry, it's uh, that had to come in. It had to come in. Otherwise, we'd be you'd be sitting there for two years. <laughs> you'd be sitting there for two years trying to find out one ancient fucking SMK or some shit. There you go, guys. Uh, season's greetings. Uh, as usual, guys, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments, stick them down. It. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.